well this morning, little red tractor. The cows have been milked, the pigs fed. Hey, let's call into Rose Cottage and see how Amy is getting on with her garden. Imagine where they've all come from. But what are they? Moles, sweetheart. But moles are really cute. Why would they do this to our garden? They have to live somewhere, and I'm afraid they've chosen here. <laughs> Morning, all. Oh, Stan, look! Our garden's ruined. You have moles by the look of it. What can we do? Can we get rid of them? <gasps> you mustn't hurt them. Hmm. I'll have to give this some thought. It's been a while since we've had moles around here. Don't worry, Amy. I'm sure I can help. Leave it with me. Thanks, Dan. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Dad's forgotten a whole load of stuff again. Dad? Dad? Hello, girl. What's up? You forgot half the stuff I asked you to get again. Oh, um... Ah. Oh. Now I'm going to have to drive into Babblebrook and get it. Ah, that's all right. I'll get it. Can I trust you not to forget anything? Me? Forget? I've got a memory like a... like a... like a... like a what you may call it? Elephant. Yeah, one of them. <sighs> I'll write you a list. That'll do it. A list, yeah. You can't go wrong with a list. Right. We need fresh bread. Oh, and a garden rake for Laura Turvey. Bread. Rake. Free-range eggs. Tractor oil for Stan. Eggs and cake and a garden rake. Bread, not cake. But bread doesn't rhyme. Oh, yeah, and don't forget, a set of little thimbles for Elsie. Hello, a customer. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Shop! Walter! Oh, hello, Mr Jones. Nah, just a minute. Listen, can you get away for a spot of fishing this afternoon? I have to dash into Babblebrook to pick up some stuff for Nicola, but it won't take long. Well, Chop Chop, I'll meet you when you get back, but keep it quiet, eh? Don't want anyone taking our spot. <laughs> no worries. I'll get off now. Catch you later. There you go. Now Dad won't forget anything. Oh, no! Dad! Wait! You forgot... The list! Oh, Dad... Good oh, morning, Stan. Wasn't expecting to see you this morning. I need your help, Stumpy. That's why I'm here. Oh, fire away. What can I do for you? Well, it's not for me, actually. It's the Turvies. I'm afraid moles have made themselves at home in their garden. They've made a terrible mess and poor Amy's beside herself. You know how she loves her garden. <laughs> moles, eh? <laughs> Exactly. The thing is, I've promised to try and help. Stumpy? Oh, I always pace when I'm thinking. I've got it. I remember now, my old dad's way of getting rid of moles was to blow smoke down one end of their tunnel, and then when they'd pop up for a breath of fresh air, he'd catch them. Don't worry, little red tractor. We can't do that, Stumpy. Amy doesn't want to hurt the little moles. She just wants them to move on. Oh, oh, I see. Hmm. Well, I... You're not going to pace again, are you? What was that? Are you all right, little red tractor? Oh, take no notice. She does that occasionally. I think the sails need a bit of oil. That jolt went right through me. The ground shook. <laughs> That would certainly scare the moles away. <laughs> would it that? Except we're not going to be able to carry this old windmill over to Rose Cottage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that does give me an idea. That's what we need to make the moles move. A vibration. Hmm. That could work. Now, let me think. I reckon it's... It's all right, Stumpy. Don't start pacing. We've taken up enough of your time. We'll think of something. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Oops, I forgot the list. Still, I'm sure I remembered everything. <laughs> now, let me see. Uh, fresh bread, check. Two dozen eggs. Free range, check. Garden rake for Mrs. Turvey, check. Tractor oil for Stan, check again. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my memory. Now, what's next? Oh, 
there. And a set of thimbles for Elsie. Thimbles? Thimbles? Oh, no. I thought she said windmills. I've got it wrong again. Nicola's not going to be happy. Oh, hi, Dad. You're back. Did you get everything? Everything? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course I did. Well done. I was worried because you forgot the list. Who needs a list? <laughs> I'll help you put everything away. No! Uh, <laughs> I mean, no. I can manage. You take it easy. OK. Thanks, Dad. What am I going to do with a box of windmills? <sighs> I'm just going to have to hide them. That's all. <laughs> Mm. Aha! Off fishing, then. Shh! Not so loud. We don't want anyone to take our spot. We? Yes. I'm going with Walter. Promises to be a successful day. Well, before you go, I wonder if you can help me. Anything's done, anything, so long as it's quick. The turvies are having a problem with moles. Rather them than us, him. Yeah. Well, that's not very neighbourly. Listen, I have an idea. We might be able to make the moles move if we can get the ground to vibrate. Oh, I see. You want me to drive Big Blue all over their garden. <laughs> no, definitely not. Any other ideas? I would love to help, Stan. Really, I would. But, well, I have to go fishing. Oh, um, OK. Well, maybe Walter will have an idea about how to help me with these moles. Oh, no! If Nicola sees the windmill, she'll know I got the order wrong. Dad! Where has he got to now? Hi, Nicola. Is Walter around? He was here, Stan. But he seems to have, um... He's behind the tiles. Dad? What were you doing behind there? I was, uh... Oh, you know, just, um... Counting tires. What are you doing with those windmills? What windmills? <laughs> windmills! That's it. That's just what we need. What? Eh? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, here you go, Stan. One box of windmills. Your windmills? Yes, they're for a little project that I'm working on. Project? Yeah. Yeah, the project. <laughs> here they are, Stan, as you ordered. Thanks. And has my oil arrived? I think Stumpy may need it to oil his windmill sails. Yeah, I have that as well. Yeah, and that will be the windmills and the oil. Two things I remembered. <laughs> Walter, are we going fishing or not? Fishing? But I thought you were... Oh, did I forget to mention the fishing? I think there are even more molehills now. Here's Stan and Little Red Tractor. Maybe he's found a way to make the moles go away. Windmills? Why have you got so many? I have a plan. What we need to do is plant the windmills all over the garden. Why? Trust me, I think this may solve your problem with the moles. And it will make the garden look really cool. Come on, Amy. I've done one, Stan. Hey, Stan, I think these look much better than boring old flowers. <laughs> They look great! But how will they get rid of the moles? As the wind blows them around, they'll vibrate through the soil. This will irritate the moles and in no time, they'll move off completely unharmed to somewhere more peaceful. You're a genius! <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. Stumpy and Little Red Tractor helped. Well, I think you both saved the day. <laughs> <laughs>